Hello, fellow citizens. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me today. Here we are at Urkel.games. I'm going to go ahead and go through and give you the basic rundown on everything you need to know. So if you look at the top right corner, you'll see 3.14 live. That is the current live build. And on the right side, we already have selected 3.15 PTU because that's what we're currently playing in. Right below that, you have your ship selector. It brings up a list of all the ships that are currently flyable in the game. Uh, for this, we'll just go ahead and go with the Avenger Titan. So if you look at the Avenger Titan, it's got your basic information for it right here, such as it's 11,900 health. It's got a max speed of 189 and an afterburner speed of 1,113. It shows its pitch and yaw, its hydrogen capacity of 90k. And it's quantum of 583. Right below that shows how much it is in game 785,600 AUEC. That's for purchase at New Deal on Lorville. Below that, it shows the four locations where you can currently rent it within the game. So, off to the right of that, it shows again your basic stats with a little bit more detail. On its current build, it's flat stock, it has a DPS of 1600. It's got a missile payload of 14.7k, shield capacity of 3k, an EM signature of 15,000, and an IR signature of 7,000. So if you come over here to the first major column where it says weapons, this shows the stock weapons that it comes with. Uh, missiles are also stock, everything on here is what it comes with with stock. Um, starting with weapons, I personally prefer fixed over gimbaled, so the first thing we're going to do is click on where it says gimbaled and go to fixed. So now that we have that done, we're going to click on the empty slot next to it, and we're going to choose our weapons. We're going to go with an attrition 4 for the nose, and then we're going to go with two attrition 3s. And if you look over here, where it says Avenger Titan, in this column, my DPS has gone up to 1640. So if we change the nose to a cannon, it'll drop it down to 1630. Change the wings over to a cannon. Just go to Omnis, guys. It's going to remain at the 1630. If we go over to some pyro bursts for the wings, it'll jump it up to 2142 DPS. But for this, we're just going to stick with the uh, attritions because that's actually what I like to run. So when you have your weapons selected, the column right below the picture of your ship shows that this current weapon is our attrition 4. It is a size 4 with 640 DPS, putting out 80 alpha damage. It's got a fire rate of 480 rounds per minute. Down here, at the very bottom, it shows where you can buy it and how much it is. So if you look over here, we currently have a missile DPS of 14,774. That is with two MSD 322s, that's a size 3, holding two size 2 missiles each. Let's go ahead and change that over to the 341, so I have more missiles in my build. So that is currently selected as a size 3, holding four size 1 missiles. And we're going to go ahead and go with the Sparks, which is going to bring my missile DPS up to 23,393. So now moving on over here to Shields. It's got two size one shields. You cannot change the size of the shield. However, you can bring up the full list of shields that are in the game. I am a personal fan of the FR-66 Palisade combination. Uh, it just brings the draw rate to zero seconds, so it pretty much immediately starts to draw from your shields and just makes them recharge a little bit faster. But that brings my shield rating up to 3450 HP and it'll be fully charged in roughly three seconds. Down here at the power plants in the current PTU changing your power plant does not matter but if you really wanted to then you could bring up the list and select from there. Um, I like the JS300 but again in the current PTU uh, in the current build really it doesn't matter as of right now. As if you look, I have 
4,417 power per second, and I'm only using 1,443 with my current setup. Moving on down here to coolers, again, does not really matter within the current build, but if you wanted to, you could bring it up and change your cooling. Uh, got 520k cooling, and I'm only using 132, so that's more than efficient. So then moving on to your quantum drive, current stock comes with the Expedition, which will get you from Port Olisar to Hurston in 5 minutes and 23 seconds. It'll go from Port Olisar to Microtech in 8 minutes and 11 seconds. You can bring up your list here to change it, and if you just select it, you can notice that the times change. So if I go with the VK00, Port Olisar to Hurston, I will not have enough fuel to make any of those trips. I personally like the Burst, because I don't ever really travel to Microtech, so I don't care about that one. But it'll give me from Olisar to Hurston in 4 minutes and 57 seconds. And then it'll give me to Arcorp in 5.56. Five, so moving on from there, um, you can bring up the list of all the paints that you can currently get for it, but it's not going to change anything. Your radars, you cannot change. Your thrusters, you cannot change. So once you have the build that you want, you can go ahead and click right here where it says non-stock items to cart. And then you come over and click on your cart. So I currently have 16 items in my cart totaling 106,150 ABC for everything to do my upgrades. And it tells you what the item is, where you can get it, and it tells you how many of them you need to purchase. You can limit this by shop or location, which is how I prefer to do it. That way I know exactly where I'm going. And I don't have to go from... You know, New Babbage to Lorville, back to New Babbage, back to Lorville. Once you're done with it, I like to just empty the cart, close, and move on from there. So those are the basic things that everyone uses Oracle Games for. Um, you can create an account and actually have multiple setups for the same ship. I don't do that. I don't see the point for it. You can come down here to Hangar if you have an account, which, again, I don't. You can select ships and vehicles right here, and this one's actually really cool. It'll bring up a list of all of these ships in the game. And all of their specs. So let's take a look at the 100i here. By Origin Jumpworks. It is an exploration starter ship. It's got 4,450 HP, the dimensions that nobody needs to worry about. Mass, speed is 210, afterburner, pitch, yaw, roll, your hydrogen capacity, so on and so forth. If you scroll all the way over, it is 654,000 AUEC in-game. If you want to know where to buy the ship, you just select the add to cart, and that's how you can get it at New Deal in Lorville for 654k. So moving on from there, select weapons. Again, it'll bring up a comprehensive list of all the weapons currently in the game. You can filter this by size. So let's just go with size 3s. And their 11 series broadsword is a size 3 with 625 DPS. Alpha damage of 188. Fire rate of 200 rounds a minute. Scroll all the way over. Base price is 23100 Again, you can hit Add to Cart, and it'll tell you exactly where to get it in-game. Come down here to Missiles, it'll be the same thing. By size, how much DPS, and tell you where to get it. Shields are going to be the exact same. You can reset by size, HP, how much it regions per second, cost, and it'll tell you where to get it. Power plants, coolers, quantum drives, all the same. EMPs, this is for people who have ships with an EMP, like a Hawk. I can't remember exactly which Titan it is, 
one of them has an EMP. Um, you cannot currently purchase in-game. That's why it does not highlight, and there is no price. It just gives you the information as to what comes stock on the ships. QEDs, again, cannot purchase. Just gives you the base information. Mining lasers. This is going to be for your mole, your prospector only, because your gray cat only has the stock mining laser. But again, it tells you the price, tells you all the specs about them. So like the Helix 2, throttle speed of plus 5, uh, laser instability is negative 50, resistance is negative 0.1, optimal, chi uh, optimal charge plus 10, so on and so forth. And at the end, it'll tell you where to get it in the game. But that's basically everything that you will need to know about Urkel games. I hope this video helped. If you think I did well enough, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, have a fantastic day.